what's up my lovely Gemini's it's your girl be you welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up what's up what's up what's up what's up hey now the title of this reading is will they contact me now this is a general reading guys so I don't expect it to resonate with all my beautiful gems out there you feel me seven billion people here on earth you know what I mean so y'all do the math all right so Take what resonates and leave the rest of the shit. Let the shit fly. Hey, let the shit fly. So without further ado, me jimmies, let's get into your reading. All right. Okay, so Gemini's, I can see that you're either married or this person wants to marry you because that's my marriage card. But yeah, I see y'all also. Got a wall up between you and this person. Hmm. The wall's so big, you even isolated yourself in it. Now y'all know. Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with this person right now under any circumstances. That wall signifies you better keep your ass back. <laughs> Cause I won't be responsible for my actions, yo. Not after the shit they put. You got me and life and bullshit fucked up and twisted, all right? Every time you deal with this person, it's always drama and chaotic. I mean, the shit never ends. Always draining your motherfucking energy. Sucking you dry from all the bullshit they bring. You know, my mama always said, watch the company you keep. You heard me? Anywho. You really thought this was a cool motherfucker, trustworthy with your heart? Thought they was honest about their feelings and shit? This type of person would smile on your face and be talking about your ass behind your back. Mm -hmm. One of them type of motherfuckers, you know? This type of motherfucker would get with other motherfuckers and talk about you. Mm -hmm. But you found out some secrets about this motherfucker that put, that, put the nail in the coffin. You just can't do the dumb shit no more time. Just can't do the dumb shit no more this time, bruh. So, look like you, uh, you called yourself an Uber and got your shit and bounced. Hey, that's right. This could have been a long-term marriage or relationship. Y'all may even got kids by this motherfucker. All right, so, let's clarify Get some details, see what's going on, see what's really going on with this, because this looks like a mess. So for the tower, we got the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Water. So yeah, this person's still in love with you. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of the secrets you found out. You know what I'm saying? They still feel that you're they boo and they into you. Boo. Yeah, but do you care? That's the question. Should anybody be into you? Do you care? Probably just being slick like they normally be slick, you know? You know how they be, you know how me and be slick, you know what I'm saying, trying to crawl your ass back, you know what I'm saying, but they do love you, I can see they, they really do love you, they still in love with you, that's what's up, alright, let's clarify the mouse, how y'all doing out there, y'all good, sending much love to you, love to you, and healing, love you Jimmy's, alright, for the mice, we got the four swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, so you step back to reevaluate this relationship. You had to step back to take a break to heal. Whatever this secret was really knocked you down. This really was your shit, the last straw. It was just too much to bear. You couldn't do it no more. Well, this one, you couldn't do. All right, let's clarify the book. Let's see what we get. Pretty much saying right now, what, what, what love got to do with it? All right, 
for the book. We got the High Priestess. Some of you could be dealing with it. Pisces. But yeah, some secrets were revealed. Things that was hidden was revealed. Mm -hmm. Found out some shit. Found, found out some shit. And just can't do the shit no more. Man, the last try with this motherfucker. Motherfucker out here doing too much. They was doing so much. You just had enough. Last fucking straw. Alright, let's clarify the tree. See what we got. Kudos to y'all for getting on. Shit. But they do want to come back. And some of you, they do want to marry you because they in love with you. And they feel sorry for what they did. But they still in love with you and want to be with you. They trying to come back to you. And get back in your good graces. tree we got the empress so yeah seems to me the secret is they had got somebody pregnant yeah and they probably don't want to be with this person no more and they decided they don't want to be with this person they no more they want to be with you but you don't want to be with them this one is a little too much You kind of Gucci right now. Nah, they almost kind of messing with your mental. You can't. Nah, this one ain't too easy to bounce back from. So you don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you right. Shit, they can take their love and throw it out the window. All you care right about now. Yeah, this shit that you can't fix. So yeah, so I know that's really fucking with y'all mind, body, and spirit. Let's get some um, more messages from the Oracle decks. Three different Oracle decks. So the Zodiac. The first one's the Zodiac deck. Yeah. That's right, Jimmy. Y'all do y'all. Shit. Do you, boo? We got Gemini. So some of you could be with, it could be a Gemini. And if not, this person was um, needing some uh make a decision between two people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got that much. We pretty much figured that part out. All right, lovers, let's get a message from the lovers. See how this card look? It's two different people on there. Yeah, so it was in between two people. Motherfucker. Damn, I got this. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. That's for who needs to hear it. Alright, we got time. You're trying too hard, give it time. Yeah, some of you may be trying to jump into another relationship, deal with somebody else, and it's just not working. You know, just to, you know, some of you may be. Drinking, you know, shit, doing drugs, getting high, you know, just doing so much. Because you're just trying not to deal, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to suppress this fucking pain. That shit hurt. Shit. Some of y'all married to this motherfucker and got kids by this motherfucker, so it ain't that easy to let go. This pain is shit. It's cruciating. So, yeah. I'm finna enjoy myself. Yeah, I'm getting drunk every damn day. All I'm, but I get it. You're just numbing the pain. But it's 
spirit saying, you, you're doing too much. You need to just give it time. You know, back, back up a little bit. You know, my Jimmy's, you guys can, you know, when you indulge, you guys indulge. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, pull back the horses, the reins on the horses a little bit. Come on, you know, just slow down a little bit. Give yourself time. You go and you give yourself time. I guarantee you're going to be all right. It's just going to take some time. All right, let's get one more card. We're going to leave it right there, all right? We're going to get one from the Chakra Oracle deck. Yeah, y'all are going to be just fine. Guys are very strong, highly intelligent, so yeah. They already did the right thing by getting on. Nobody got time for that type of pain. Alright, we got divine wisdom. So let's read what it's saying. You have the divine wisdom of the universe available to you at all times. As you may know, you are deeply connected to an expression of light, divine light of the universe. The div this divine light has within it the powerful knowledge and wisdom of the cosmos. This light is all-knowing, wise, and all-intelligent light. You are reminded at this time that the wisdom is at your fingertips, that you are made up of the wisdom and that it runs through your blood. You can access it, access it at will. If you have been searching for it, for answers and guidance for sources outside yourself, it is now time to look inward. It is now time to tune in, tune in and, and become aware of the divine wisdom that lies within. Trusting the calling deepen and awaken this aspect of yourself as, as you start and trust the wisdom that comes to you. Take a moment in a quiet place. Ask your questions and listen to the voice inside your heart offering you the answers and singing the song of divine wisdom. The answers lie within the chambers of your own heart. Sometimes it can be challenging bypassing those crazy thoughts in your head in order to get to your heart. However, once you get that feeling in your body that everything is just right, you will know that, that you are there. Then it is a matter of trusting the process. And as it grows stronger, to use it just like a muscle. It is time to flex your heart and listen to your divine wisdom it has to offer. It pulsates through your cell of your being, ready and waiting for your awakening to its calling. So yes, yeah, time to go within yourself. It's time to detach from everything and outside things. Doing a little too much. Time to go within. We're all over the place, you know, being air. So now you're really all over the place. You need to ground yourself. You need to find balance. So you need to go within. Start going within to know who you are. Know who you are. Start getting to know who you are. Finding out who you are, what you like. We're not about to invest no more time with somebody else right now. Invest all this time getting to know who you are. I guarantee you're going to like who you find. Then all these type of... No good motherfuckers, they fall by the wayside. You wouldn't even, you on a higher level now, so they, you know what I'm saying? You gonna be start fucking with people on a higher level, not these motherfucking low motherfuckers. But you gotta come up, baby. You gotta come up. You gotta raise your vibrations. I know it hurt. It's gonna hurt. Shit, life ain't, nobody said life is gonna be easy. Life is pain. But pain is strength, you know what I'm saying? Because what don't kill you, make you stronger. All right? So I'm gonna leave it right here. And if this resonates with y'all, go on and like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Greatly appreciate it, but no pressure. All right, me loves. Till the next time.